Mark Shannon. And now, here's something we hope you'll really like. Dr. Uh, Johnny Roy is an Edmund physician who is uh, running for the 5th Congressional District seat being abandoned by Mary Fallon this fall so she can run for governor. And uh, he joins me this afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Johnny, or doctor. How are you? Good afternoon, Mark. Uh, you ran two years ago for this job, right? Correct. What inspired you to run again? Well, last time I announced just two months before the primary, and I was going against uh, well-known names like Mary Fallon, Denise Body, Mick Cornett, who have more name recognition. And to run against them for two months, that that was kind of hard. But in the meantime, now I have some name recognition. And the timing is just about right, because I think the, the country is yearning for a new face. The country is, is yearning for someone who is not in politics. They don't want recycled politician. And the, the country is really yearning for someone Maybe I'm not trying to copy Tom Cole, a physician <laughs> who has no interest uh, to go and, uh, and, and, and find a career in, in, in uh, Washington. Someone who would go term limit himself, do what's best for the country, and come home. What do you, what do you see as the most pressing issue in the country right now? Health care, the economy? Yeah, well, I mean, we can say health care, which is tied to the economy, but number one issue facing this country is the economy. And the reason also we have also a predicament in Washington or something, because most of these guys have no real life business experience. Mr. Obama, and I'm not here to attack Obama, has only 8% of his inner circle from the business community. While if you take Clinton, FDR, JFK, everybody, they had more than 50% of the inner circle from the business community. So in essence, 92% of those running our country have no real business experience. They're basically running on theories. They are running and, on and, theories. And right. they, are, they come from academia and they come from government. Right, and, and, and a position of contempt, I, I think, in a lot of cases for big business. Uh, now, as far as running a business goes, you run your own. You're a doctor. Uh, I, am, I, am, I, am, I have a small office. I'm a small business. Uh, I have to make payroll. I have to borrow money. I have to please customers that deal with crimes. And I ask, I ask the voters, when you vote for a candidate, ask him, have you run a business if he has not run a business, he has no business being in the business of running other people's business. Because American <laughs> business is business. That he might be the best. I'm sorry. That might be the best political uh, or, or the best line I've ever heard. Yeah, I, I heard you use that one night at the at a debate, and that is that is so true. You want to uh, repeat it? You want me to? Right, yeah, go right ahead. Say it yeah. again. Uh, ask ask anyone running for office. Have you run a business? If you have not run a business, you have no business being in the business of running other people's business because America's business is business. Being a community organizer does not qualify anyone to run a big business called America. And we've been getting the business ever since that guy took over. Now, let's talk about, since you are a doctor, what needs to be done with this health care bill that the Democrat Congress just shoved down our throat? Would you like to see it reworked, repealed? Uh, or do we even need health health uh, reform? Well, we do need to do something about health care. I, I, I am a doctor. I care deeply about people, about their health care. But you don't run a health care, which is one-sixth of our GDP, uh, late on Sunday night to run it. What is the hurry? To solve health care is very simple. I have a solution for it, but we don't have the time. Number one, what we do, we cannot have, have health care reform without tort reform. You have to wed them. Otherwise, you can't do it because we spend $200 billion on, on what we call uh, care that, that's not benefiting any patient with defensive medicine. And number two, tie the purchaser to the product. If you don't pay, if you don't know what it costs, you are just going to come and tell me I want this and this. To, to give you an example, people come to me and say, my shoulder hurting, order an MRI. I say, well, that's expensive. 
put a heart compress, buy an Advil. No, doctor, it only cost me $25. It ain't so. It costs $2,000. But so That's when right. people are not tied to the product, they would go and say, order it. PET scan, MRI, and I have people that threaten to sue me if I don't order for them a CAT scan, PET scan, MRI, so forth. Which takes you out of the mix as, as far as your, your expertise as a doctor. Yeah. Uh, I mean, another thing you talked about early on was not only term limiting yourself, but I know, I think you also support term limits for federal offices if we could get those through in a constitutional amendment. What, what, what restrictions would you put on a congressman as far as term limits go, four I, years, six years? I, I, think, uh, I think for a congressman, three terms should suffice, and for, for a senator, two terms. Let's, let's emulate those that, that, that frame this, this country and the Constitution. They came, they served, and went back to their farms and businesses, and they were statesmen. We don't have statesmen. We have Charlie Rangel four years, Henry Waxman, Max Baucus, uh, Christopher Dodd, you, you name them. They change even parties just to stay there. When is enough enough? If, if I am going there for three terms, excuse my Anglo-Saxon, I will damn the torpedoes full speed ahead. Do what's good for this country, and I don't have to, to, uh, to, to, to cater to any special interest. Yeah, it takes a lot of pressure off. I mean, you still have to run again in two years, yeah, but, but, but it does take a lot of the pressure off. Of course. I'm not trying to build a career there. I don't need I'm a right. surgeon. I have a gratifying profession. When I'm going, to, going there, I'm going to sacrifice quite a bit. But if I'm seeking leadership position, leadership entails sacrifice. And I will, and Edmund is about, what, the six, seven uh, city in the, in the state – I will uh, I will establish a congressional office in Edmond. If you want to know uh, if you want to know more about the the uh, doctor's campaign, it's Roy R O Y Roy for Congress. Doctor Johnny Roy, thanks for talking with us today. Pleasure. Mark Shannon. I think you're the most plugged in guy that I know. On News Radio 1000 KTOK.